Most of our rainfall done tonight, really even across most of our viewing area, with the exception of a few Mississippi counties, a little bit of that light rainfall still holding on. But we are dry now and even started to see a little bit of clearing in the skies, but still relatively cloudy. And that's fairly well forecasted by our model. Models a little bit more aggressive with the rainfall that we do have across Mississippi. But I think we're going to stay dry through the night tonight. Then as we get the day started tomorrow, still looks like mostly cloudy skies with more rainfall developing during the midday and afternoon hours. And once again, it looks like greater rain coverage and a chance for some isolated downpours at the moment. Look at that little low cloud bank right over downtown. 80 degrees currently at Kenner with a dew point of 76. It still feels like 85 degrees, but I tell you what, over the last several days, going back to last week with more clouds, more rainfall, it really does help us out temperature wise. Even if we get there, there have been some days in the last several that have gotten a 90, even 91 degrees. We just don't stay there for nearly as long. Most of the day is spent in the 80s or even 70s, 70s and low 80s on the map right now. And this will be a pattern which continues in the next few days, but it will be coming to an end. This is the upper troughing that we've been watching, really setting up last week that was going to bring in more rainfall, and it's a pattern which will continue for the next couple of days. The upper trough actually starts to leave, but we will see kind of a leftover upper level low. This will keep the weather pretty much the same. The instability and plenty of tropical moisture right over south Southeast Louisiana and much of the Gulf South. As we head further into the week and then especially this weekend, that upper low leaves and it's placed this building upper ridge. The upper ridge limits rainfall and increases temperatures. So while the rain chances will be coming down, we'll start to see more locations into the lower, even some mid 90s and not much relief. Again, with the last several days, we've had the relief from the heat. Not really going to see that this weekend. So outdoor plans this weekend. Great because it won't be as wet, but you'll have to dodge more of the heat and use all the heat precautions. Heavy rainfall isolated at times will still be with us to maybe threaten some street flooding tomorrow. Thursday weather prediction center kind of removes the area for Friday and then brings it back in for Saturday. Not really seeing much of a difference with our rain chances on Friday and Saturday. They both look to be a little bit lower, so I'm not exactly sure why the weather prediction center is kind of removing that area for Friday, but again, I think equal chances fairly low for any street flooding. Overall, another one to two inches of rain are possible through the weekend, but as mentioned, the weekend will be much, much drier. We're already starting to dry up, but that instability is still very apparent as we've been seeing more rain than what is just typical for our summer pattern. We'll start off the day fairly dry, but then more showers and thunderstorms with afternoon heating, plus the instability keeping those rain chances on the higher side. As of right now, we still have another seven days out in the tropics that we are not expecting any further development. However, we have that Saharan dust around. Notice a couple of little tropical waves and some of the longer range models are indicating they may try and start firing up after seven days. Now this is a long range forecast, but may be watching for some potential development as we head into kind of the first several days of August. That's a long way off, but just wanted to be mentioning the fact that don't don't be surprised if in the coming days we're starting to highlight some areas out in the tropics. Once again, we've had a couple of quiet weeks, but we knew the activity would be returning. Rain chances staying on the higher side, but then the heat returns as we dry out for this weekend.